Today's prayer is a spiritual journey that begins with a moment of preparation for the mind, body, and soul. We invite you to slow down, breathe deeply, and connect with the divine. Prayer is a dialogue, and every word spoken is a bridge between the human and the celestial. This moment is dedicated to reflection, gratitude, and seeking hope and guidance, always led by the Word of God. May this prayer be a source of spiritual, mental, and physical renewal, thanksgiving and praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Psalm 100 verse 4. Praise to God. Lord, today we approach you with hearts full of gratitude, acknowledging that you are the creator of all things. Every detail of the universe reflects your power and glory. The breath of life you have granted us this morning is a profound reason for praise. Just as the earth reflects your majesty, our hearts reflect your goodness. We want to exalt your name above everything this world can offer. With every passing day, we are reminded that you are eternal, unchanging, and faithful in all your promises. Lord, we want to dedicate this prayer time to worshiping you. Without haste, without distractions, focus solely on your love and goodness. Let every word we speak rise like sweet incense before your throne. We praise you, Father, for your creation, the gift of life, and the hope we find in you. Gratitude for the present. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for the gift of today. The simple fact that we are here is an immeasurable blessing. We know that many did not have this opportunity, and for that we thank you deeply. Every beat of our hearts is a miracle that reflects your care and provision. Lord, we understand that the challenges of each day can sometimes make us forget your constant love, but today we choose to trust fully in you. Your grace is sufficient for us. Thank you for sustaining us, providing for every need, and always guiding us through the storms. We are grateful for everything we have and for what is to come because we know you always do what is best for us. Confession and repentance. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John 1 verse 9, acknowledgement of human failure. Father, in your perfection, we recognize our imperfections. Each passing day reveals how small we are compared to your holiness. Our failures, sins, and weaknesses often distance us from you, but we know your love is greater than any mistake we could make. We are tempted and we fall, but in your love we find redemption. Lord, Forgive us for all the times we have acted against your will, for every word and action that has hurt others and ourselves. We want to return to the right path. And for that, we ask you for wisdom and discernment, sincere repentance. Oh, God, we repent deeply for our transgressions. We know that sin distances us from you and prevents us from experiencing the fullness of your presence. We ask, 
Lord, cleanse us completely and purify our hearts. From now on, we want to live according to your will, rejecting the things of this world that divert us from your path. Father, just as the prodigal son returned home, we desire to return to your embrace. We know that in your infinite love, you receive us with open arms, without judgment, only with mercy. May today's repentance bring lasting transformation to our lives, drawing us closer to you. Request for wisdom and guidance. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. James 1 verse 5, wisdom to face the day. Lord, each new day brings decisions, challenges, and opportunities. We know that without your wisdom, we are not able to make the right choices. Therefore, we humbly ask, guide us with your light. Teach us to discern right from wrong and to act in accordance with your will, we understand that circumstances can sometimes confuse us, but with your guidance, we can see beyond the surface. Grant us mental and spiritual clarity to make choices that please you. We want to walk in your ways, following your commandments, and always seeking the truth. Direction for our lives, Father. Often, we don't know where to go. The uncertainties of life can leave us without direction, but today, we place our lives in your hands. You know the beginning and the end of all things, and we trust that you have the best plan for us. We ask you to guide our steps and show us the path we should follow. Let us hear your voice. Even amidst the noise of this world, we want to live according to your purposes, fulfilling the role you have given us and glorifying you in everything we do. Be our compass, our guide, our north, request for protection and strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, Psalm 18, verse 2, protection from evil. Lord, we live in a world filled with dangers, both visible and invisible. We ask that you extend your protective hand over us, our families, and everyone we love. We know that the enemy seeks to destroy, but we also know that you are more powerful. We ask, Father, that you guard us from all harm, physical, mental, and spiritual. May your presence be a shield around us, protecting us from the traps and temptations this world places before us. We want to walk securely knowing that you are our rock, our refuge, and our fortress. We will not fear evil, because we trust fully in your divine protection, strength to overcome difficulties. Father, in our weakness, we find strength in you. The hardships of life often seem unbearable, but we know that you never leave us alone. We ask that you renew our strength today, giving us the courage to face any adversity that comes our way. We know that in your love, there is no challenge too great, no battle we cannot win. May every trial we face be an opportunity for growth and drawing closer to you. Strengthen us. Lord, so that we can remain steadfast, 
no matter the circumstances, 